2K land, man. Check this out, man. We got a lot to talk about. A little bit of time to talk about it then, man. We got opposing opinions. We got a little, you know, people talking about how they feel about how you should voice your opinion in the 2K community, stuff like that, and what could be the repercussions and all that. Not saying anybody's wrong. Not saying I agree, but we just going to talk about it, man. Hey, we got uh, we got Uncle Demi talking about some uh, uh, some some stuff about, you know, the battle pass, possibly a paid, paid battle pass type system in this thing. All this stuff, man. We got a good amount of stuff, man. So make sure y'all like the video. Comment your thoughts down below, man. Y'all know we're trying to get this thing going to the moon, Alice. And like I said, man, nobody told y'all this today, man. Y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family. I love each and every last one of y'all, man. And check this out. And before we get going, check this out, man. Make sure y'all slide. Link in the description. Go over to Breeze Tees. We got custom shirts, man. Listen, we got some good stuff for the females and males alike. You know, we got a lot of athletic shirts. We're going to revamp the site and do a few things on this tonight, man. But check this out. Boom. The main thing is you can do custom shirts, custom hats, whatever it is, man. Check it out. Boom. All you got to do, take your picture, put it in there, size it up real nice, and then bam, there you go right there. And then uh, same thing with the hats, man. Boom. Come over here, find your uh, find whatever your picture is. We're going to use, like I said, the espresso yourself. Get it sized up, and booyah, you 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 gonna be good to go, man. If you order something, and then like we got the espresso yourself, the shirt is already here. We got the thick and tired. We got a lot of the female colors, you know, some of the, you know, some more of the female friendly colors with the white and all that good stuff. And they're truly blessed. And then my personal favorite is Super Daddy Yo. Hey, I, I like this joint, man. We got this joint ready to go out. And if you have bought something, it's gonna be ready to go out today. Check this out, man. I'm gonna show y'all something real quick. My guy, oh, uh, my guy, Glow. When you got that glow, his shirt is done. We getting this joint up out of here today, man. So check it out. Hey, all you gotta do, hit the site up, breezetees.com. Uh, link down in the description, and we gonna go on with the video. Appreciate y'all for uh, letting me plug my uh, stuff right there, man. Check this out. So that boy Uncle Demi the other day, he says, hey, I am astounded that some people still don't understand the proper etiquette uh, for game, the proper etiquette for game critique. That, 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 that's tough right there because I'm like, I don't think it's really a proper way unless you're expecting something on the other end. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to call the claim. I'm going to call the Anyway, as someone who frequently communicates directly with developers, I don't feel the need to broadcast this. It's interesting how many creators are well aware of the of the right channels for feedback. We, we even have a dedicated Discord for public discourse. Let's get real. Many critiques are merely for internet popularity i'm not going i'm not going to get mad at, at, at that right there but a lot of stuff that we do i mean just like this tweet could be we could say that's that's for pop, internet popularity but it is what it is disregarding direct access to the developers the 2k doesn't listen to me argument is baseless we've seen many of our suggestions come to life i'm not gonna lie to y'all like 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 i probably look i ain't never just like Stack said, getting getting the 2K day, none of that stuff, man. But y'all know that they listen to me because because pretty much everything I say uh, within reason, you know, when I say how we can fix things, how we can, it, it comes into the game. So I know somebody's listening to me. They can act like they not. But bro, it's very specific. It's like suspiciously specific when I when I make a suggestion and it finds its way into the game. So it, it is what it is. I ain't worried about that. Like some people do it. And they want to say they want to have their name attached to it to me i really care about the betterment of the game and i want to have a better product so it really doesn't matter if i get credit for it or not because the real gym stars know where you know what i'm saying where where it, where it all came from so it, it is what it is but anyway while we're gonna continue on and sp speaking of which we got a gym star shirt man i'm gonna have to show y'all that in in one second too uh, i think i got that joint up here man look this is the new that's the new gym star design right there, man. The new gym star fitness design. We're gonna have that on the site too. But anyway, continuing on with uh young Demi. And he says, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We've had so many suggestions come to life. Uh the developers uh feedback uh improved. So let's dispel the myth criticizing the company recklessly and then playing victim when when uh being overlooked for opportunities is hypocritical. Uh would you stand on your desk at your nine to five job to uh to publicly bash it no you go to hr the same principle applies as an independent contractor seeking to collab with uh with other publishers hmm. the sooner you understand this the sooner success follows but like i said man i'm, I'm, I'm gonna get y'all a little story or what have you how i act because i'm one of those people that i'm really a empath imp i'm really very empathetic person or what have you i want everybody to be successful i want everybody to to do things, you know, make it in life and stuff like that. So when I see people 
that you know that somebody might be riding a bike or driving a, a car that's not uh, not up to up to code or whatever like that and i feel i genuinely feel bad for those people because i'm like dang man it sucks that they have to do that or that they have to uh they they gotta drive something that's that's subpar or that they're in a spot like that and i should i feel like like because i feel like nobody should be in that position like that but then i'm i, ha I have to take into consideration those people could be completely happy they're doing what they want to they're living their best life and and my idea of what what might be happiness that might not be their idea of happiness and so i'm saying all that to say this it's a it's a very huge assumption to say like uh to feel like like if you want a certain thing he's not he's not wrong if you want a certain thing you want a certain outcome you want to be collab with 2k and all that good stuff yes you probably want to go about your business a different way but it's a very it's very presumptive to to say to think that everybody wants that so what makes me happy and and you know what what the relationship that i want with 2k it might not be the relationship that you want with 2k but there are a lot of people out there that are want to talk recklessly he's not wrong about that they want to talk recklessly say what they want bash the game and then think that they should not be overlooked when these opportunities come and those are the ones they kind of you know they they, they just kind of masquerading these people that I, i'm gonna say what i want to but then play victim you ain't gonna never see jay easy play victim or none of this stuff bro i know they ain't never and I'm, I'm who stacks was talking about ever gonna invite me out there and i'm cool with that because i understand that hey my stance on some things especially what we're gonna talk about later it is just not it's just not conducive to their business model they can't publicly be aligned with someone who denounces certain parts of the business model which is the pay to win aspect of the business model they can't be directly aligned with that because you know they got bosses to answer to and even though the developers themselves might not be with it and they don't care that you know they don't want that in the game the developers are like listen man like uh, not developers but the, uh the higher ups like uh like you know the ceos and all that they get paid off of it so they're like listen we can cut your salary or you can cut these these vc prices up and you can keep your job and so it's like it's like like what what you gonna do in this type of situation so it is what it is like i said i just think it's a far gone conclusion like when you're as closely and when you are as closely aligned with 2k as demi is is, of course you're gonna feel this way and of course that's that's the way you're gonna go about it but somebody like me who i'm on the periphery but i do have direct access to a two bro, i got direct access to the man you understand what i'm saying like to the man man so if i want if i if i feel some some type of way about something it's cool i can get that that opinion heard like it ain't nobody higher than the person that i got direct access to all right so it is what it is so I, but i do understand like that i can't be publicly you know it, it is you know I, hey listen man i understand man so yeah, i just think it's a far gone it's a far fetch it's far fetched to think that everybody wants that type of relationship or what have you if that makes sense it is what it is anyway check it out hey right, hey right. Swante kind of comes back and counters and he just says hey 2k is not your employer they do not pay you they did not 2k did not make you or offer you what they did. Well, you did come up playing the game though. So like if you play something else, I don't know if you're gonna be as successful, but I digress. It is what it is. A hey, 2K uh, did not make you or offer you any help to get you anywhere. They did some people, but not everybody. You're right. Uh, let me see, you you made you, you paid, for, uh, you, pay, you get paid from the people and your platforms. They said, flame 2K all you, all you want. Plenty of people outside of the two, uh, outside and in the 2K community have made it but by uh, being genuine about video games uh etc you do not have to join the 2k illuminati and he's not wrong also man I, either man like like i said it just depends on how which way you want to go about it because like it's, it's also a far gone conclusion or or far-fetched to say that nobody wants to be aligned with 2k that everybody just wants to do their own thing so i, I feel like it's, it really lies somewhere in between like you can talk, you can speak about the things that you feel strongly about, and and if you some if you feel that strongly about it that you really don't care about the relationship, then go ahead and do it. But if you do feel, if you don't feel that strongly about it, then uh, hey, is it really necessary? But if you really want to be aligned, and you want to be invited to community day, and you want to be all this and stuff like that, you might want to conduct yourself the way that Demi is saying. But if you really don't care about that, and you truly don't care about that, then and you're not gonna be under these posts where they, where they say you're never. Are gonna get invited but then you got everybody under the post talking about but well, i don't do this i don't do this i don't do this i don't do this. shut the f up shut the f up look 
you on one side or the other. Either you don't care and you're gonna spit the facts, or you do care and you're gonna spit semi facts, or you do, or you really don't care. Like most of, but most of the 2K community, like I said, they don't care nothing about the game. They don't care nothing about. They just want to care about how their play style goes and how their views go. That's all it is. So of course, when stacks drop that, people gonna be under there talking about, yeah, man, I, I you know this and that, this, this, that, and the third. People gonna be under there like, you know, this, I ah, ain't see me under there, man. I don't, I do not care. Hey, that's, that's for me and mine. Hey, hold up, that's the wrong button. That's for me and mine. We do not care. But anyway, uh, last but not least, man, we're gonna talk about the battle pass thing that Demi was talking about, where he was talking about um, a possibly paid battle pass. Uh, type deal and man i don't want to see nothing like that man i ain't gonna lie to y'all man if we t if we okay listen we know we knew that when it happened that it was coming we knew that it was on the way we knew that something like this was in the works they're not gonna make the battle pass or the 2k seasons free forever and so he was talking about possibly having a paid version of the season where you know you just go get cosmetic stuff and then you'll have i mean a, a unpaid version the free version like apex and stuff and you'll have um, where you don't have to do anything and you just get, you know, cosmetic stuff and then you'll have better rewards under the paid battle pass or what have. But see, the thing that we overlooking is I don't want to see anything like that, even though I know that's where we're probably going or it's going to have to go because this is how this is the nature of it. It's the next evolution. I don't want to see anything like that. But listen, Apex is free. Okay, not not, and, and we ain't talking about Gideon Prime either. Apex is free, y'all. Y'all don't even know OGs like that. Talking about Sim Nation, y'all talking about y'all Sim Nation. Y'all don't even get that pun right there. Apex is free, and we ain't talking about Gideon Prime, man. Truth chasers. Anyway, anyway, look, Apex is free, so you don't have to worry about. Um, you don't have to worry about stuff. If you want to get the cosmetic game uh, pass, part of the pass, you can get that. Everything that you get on that pass is free. Anything worth getting from 2k would be pay to win or make it be pay to win because people talk he was talking about unlimited boost maybe you pay for the game pass you reach level 40 you get unlimited boost i don't want to see anything like that because that makes the game be pay to win it's already pay to win enough if you do that and i hate to say stuff like this because if i say it then you know stuff like that comes to fruition they'd be like oh yeah they can they can us over even even more but like you already got to pay for the game you got to pay for the juice you got to pay to pay 70 dollars for the game 200 dollars for your uh uh, for your player, a hundred dollars for your player. However much, it, uh, however much your player is, it doesn't matter what you. Think. It doesn't matter how much the player is. You already got to do that, all right. If you want to, and then to be competitive, you got to buy the juice. Like Gambit, like out here with a fifty-five steal. I got a ninety-nine steal. He gets more steals than me out of the air. Why? Because he turns on boost. You got to put on boost. Well, imagine like Call of Duty. Like I said, Call of Duty. Uh, uh, uh what's the other one? A uh, Fortnite. Those games are free on at, at, at a certain aspect the battle royale part of it is free but imagine if on call of duty they had something and you could do the battle pass and you could get stopping power now now that makes the game pay to win because you're now you're doing more damage or you're doing more accuracy or what have you or what if you had to buy stopping power or accuracy in call of duty like you kind of have to do with 2k you want to hit shots you want to hit shots and not miss the shots that you knew that you're supposed to hit you gotta buy boots you want to get the steals that you thought you're supposed to get you gotta buy boots you want to get the blocks in the interior defense you, you got to buy boost. You want to dribble like you're supposed to and not get plugged. You got to buy boost. So it's already a very pay to win aspect to the game. So I would not want to see that where you have to buy the battle pass, then complete it. And then now you're going to get unlimited boost and stuff like that. While the, while the idea of getting unlimited boost at the end of the battle pass is kind of like, okay, that is kind of cool. You know, I would do that, but no, we shouldn't have to pay for boost in the first place. Boost have no place in the game they shouldn't be in the game you shouldn't be able to pay to, to unlock a skill that you should already have via your attributes and a hundred dollar player that i've already paid for i shouldn't have to do that but hey it, it is what it is i digress they probably gonna do something like that i really don't want to see that and then the other thing is just let's think about the implications of that apex they have it, it could be like my team you know how my team already has two types of currency you got mt and vc so you can spend vc you can earn the mt and you can buy stuff with vc and you know it's two different prices same thing with apex what if they do something like that where you got to buy the battle pass with the cash you know with the actual stuff that you cannot earn and then but, but but also when you buy the battle pass one time in apex and all those other games you get enough 
uh, in-game currency to buy it again. But bro, what if they do something like that? And then the next thing they be like, well, shoot, you can't buy boost with, with VC anymore. You got to buy boost with cash, which you dang near already have to do anyway. Why? Because you're playing the game at a loss anyway, if you're boosting up. So you already having to pay cash, you're not earning enough VC. So now it's just a placebo effect anyway, that you're earning enough, you know what I'm saying? That you that you don't have to pay cash for these boosts. If you play the game a lot, you're not gonna earn enough VC to, to keep up with your boost ha boosting habits or your steroid habit, man. Anyway, y'all get what I'm saying, man. Listen, I don't wanna see nothing like that, man. It's probably coming because he kind of hinted at it, but I don't want to see nothing like that, man. I feel like Boo shouldn't even be in the game anyway. I feel like it's, it's, it makes it super pay to win and it's already pay to win enough. And, it, and any comparisons between uh, Apex, Call of Duty, and those other free games is asinine because I don't have to pay to, to level up my gun and then I don't have to pay more just to make my gun work. It, it's, it's crazy, man. But listen, I ain't want to see nothing like that. It's probably coming. It is what it is. But just like Anonymous said, I don't even want to say stuff like that because I don't want to put it out there in the atmosphere because I don't want to see that. But you know, hey, it's where we at, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Go buy a shirt and I'm going to holler y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town. Guys,